So just another quick video, and this is actually a follow-up video and another video I did about doing a visual countdown in a, in a video output. And uh, that was done using a, a pretty complicated script, or very complicated script last time, made by Locodoc. But since then, uh, Virtual DJ have added a countdown feature that we can use. So uh, just in time for New Year's, I thought I'd, I'd put out a video on that. And that also means that you have to have at least early access build 7388 to run this, so that's early access. And I normally don't do videos on those, but since it's almost New Year's, uh, I thought I'd do it in this, in this case. And who knows, it may be a public release before the day comes, right? So what is this thing? Well, it's all about putting a countdown on your output, and that has become pretty simple now. So what I've done is I've created this tiny little script here. Um, and the important part of this in the middle, countdown, and then what you want it to count down to. So that'll of course be, um, be uh, 23 and 101 for New Year's. Right now it's for tomorrow, so we can see it happening. And uh, then I just add a little bit of program cast here. And then I put it into the master, uh, uh, master effect uh, for text. So I, I've added to the text uh, output or the text uh, plugin over here as the current text. And because that won't happen all the time automatically, even though the countdown in itself happens automatically, I need to repeat putting it into there. So that's why there's a repeat start instant on it. Uh, but in reality, it's really just the, the countdown here that does all the work. And like I said, this out here, um, percentage full means it takes the, uh, the hours and the minutes and the seconds. So, uh, so let's just start that and see what it does. So right now it doesn't look like it does anything. That's because it's putting it into the text output. And since the text output is not turned on, you can't see it. But when we turn on the text output, then we can see it. So you can see it's six, minute and 20, uh, six hours and 21 minutes to, to midnight right now. And now it changes like that to 20. And um, so that's basically it. And of course, because I have an audio only visualization set up to shader, it'll grab the current shader and then put that as a background. So that, that basically just works. You don't need anything more than that. That'll just work. And it'll of course also work if you actually add a video instead. So if you play a video instead of, instead of, using, a, inst instead of using a shader. So let me just do that. You can see when a meter plays, it puts this thing on top of it still. But let's just go back to the uh, to the uh, to audio only here. So now we're back to the shader. So then can you change that? Well, yes, because it's actually just the text, right? So you can go into text here, and you can edit this anything you, any way you want. So uh, you can make it bigger, of course, like that, and you can move it around and. Put it back to center again, let it make it smaller again. And you can change its, uh, its color, so let's put it white in the middle. You can put in uh, another font and stuff like that. So you can do everything you can with text. The only thing this current little script that's running over here is doing, it's just updating this to the countdown value. So basically counting down. And also because we had a, a, a repeat start over here, we can also repeat stop with this little script. Repeat stop, CD, I call it CD for countdown, that's just a name. So if I click that one, then I'll stop it again, and then you can go into text and I'll write it with a new text, right? So that's basically the feature. But of course, we may want to do more than that. Now that's so simple to do it, we may want to do a bit more than that. So what can we do? Well, we can actually use the, uh, the scheduler feature. So I've done that. So what I've done here is I actually made Five steps, just turn this off again. So I made five steps uh, here uh, uh, that happens when I click start. The first two steps happens immediately. The first one sets the, the, the current audio audio visualization to be Starfield 05, it says if you go all the way out here. And uh, that's actually this shader. So you can put any other shader in there, or you could actually just have it run whatever shader you like, and it'll just work on top of that. But just to keep it like uh, keep it in a in a fashion where it's, it's easy to use, and I know it'll just work. Then whenever I click, uh, I start uh, this one executes, and it'll change my shader to this one, and it'll also do the repeat starter. 
So if I uh, if I try just testing those by clicking out here, see, it changed it to, it was already the one, but still you can see the change. And then the next one, then it starts this one up again because that's actually the script you saw before, right? Exactly the same script, just triggered immediately when I when I start here. Let me just turn those off again because I, of course, want to start them as a scheduled task and not just tests up here. Then comes the the, the interesting moments, maybe, because uh, then at a given time, and of course, uh, in reality, that would be uh, that would be at midnight. Then it it changes, then it changes this back to uh, 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 back to other uh, other values. So let me just set that to the next minute that's coming up, which is forty three down here. Save that. The next one. 43 and 43. And let's we see what happens if we take start. What happens then in eight seconds? Now. Then it changed the text to Happy New Year and it changed the shader to a uh, a firework shader, this one, firework 3D. So of course you need to have that present. So that means that you can now have a change to the text to Happy New Year, turn off the uh, the repeater by repeat stop, the same script as before, uh, and then write Happy New Year echoes here. So you get the fireworks and you get the Happy New Year text and it gets everything to, to stop. And you can actually just stop this. Um, and then continue with your night afterwards, right? And replace the shader with a new one and stuff like that. So that's basically what was happening. Let me just go through them again. So we have these things that set everything up immediately. So it starts counting down and it adds this shader instead. And it starts counting down. If I turn on text again. And then whenever this happened, when I was in play mode, turn it into the fireworks one, and it wrote Happy New Year instead, and then it stopped the automatic changes of the text, right? So that's a basically a, a, a bit added feature to a, very, a way simpler version of the countdown um, that you may be able to use uh, a New Year's Eve, if you like. And of course, you want to test this beforehand, so you can test it and you can save it down here. So you, only, uh, so you know it's working. You can test it with another value. You can test it. So you do it whenever you're building it and you can test it by clicking these and then you just need to load the right one and click start when you add the gig on New Year's Eve and then enable the text, of course, and the, the output window and then you know it'll work when it's supposed to work at the important part, uh, important night, of course. And then uh, I think I'll just put uh, some of this, the stuff, all the scripts and a uh, couple of links to the, the to the uh, the shaders that I have used here, so you can set it up yourself if you like to test it.